Dumbbell Tabata 2.0 has three main goals, rapid fat loss cardio, full body core training, and we're using the world famous 2010 Tabata protocol, H-I-I-T, or high intensity interval training. Use a light 10 to 25 pound dumbbell and be sure to master the 1.0 version of this first before we move on to 2.0, which is significantly more difficult. I got tweaks for the freaks in there. Now, shorter 20 second work periods mean you got to move a little bit faster here, okay? You want to get at least five to 10 repetitions in every 20 second block. You're getting less than that. It's too heavy. You're getting more than that. It's probably too light. But even if it's too light, just get more reps. This is a more cardio strength routine as it is. Now, there's a built-in warm-up, a nice ground to stand flow I put in here for you. And there's an instructional portion. Watch that first. Move right to the follow along for repeat uses. Just scroll ahead to the follow along portion. Now be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make your post workout report in the comments section below. Put away all your stress aside. Focus on what you can control, your effort. Get it done today. Have a great workout. Enjoy. Peace. Deep down, I'm just still a dumb bro from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so I love to work the arms anytime I can. I also love to work the abs, and I know you do too. So we've got the flex arm, kneel and carry. Think about the arm and hammer. All right, logo, 90 degree angle, and I can also mess around with the grip. This is your strongest position. You get more brachialis, muscle between the biceps and the triceps. If I go underhand supinated, I really get some external rotation to the shoulder, and I stress the biceps more. Hardest option is here, and there might be a slight Drift of the elbow out to really get the forearms. That one's tough, but you can mix grips throughout this movement. Start to get more core engagement to level the pelvis. Treat your knees as feet. And don't do this, right? Think about just sliding it so if there's a glass of water in your head, you're locked in. I can also bring this up to a stand. So you can mix between this round to round or set to set. Pump is precious! No exercise is more humbling than the crawl, especially for extended time and retention, except when you add a dumbbell with the traveling one arm bare row. <sighs> Exhale up, inhale down. Make sure we're not shifting or turning here. Keep everything squared to the ground. And then we add some motion to it. When the option, Do that in round one. Round two, we're set to set. Let's do it laterally. So I How many movements do I have? Too many! This is the best sit-up for your shoulders. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do two floor presses at the bottom. Inhale down, exhale up. And then I exhale up, pressing the weight overhead. I'm not trying to go forward and flex. I'm trying to drive the weight overhead and get my hips underneath the weight. Then I do one overhead press. We use a two to one on this because you're stronger horizontally pressing versus vertical. But when you string this together for time and your tension, your abs are smoking, your shoulders are smoking. This one will test you in a real way. Start with a light weight because it's gonna get spicy fast. The most important combination in boxing is a two punch combo known as the one, two, or the jab into the cross. The jab sets it up and the cross is the power punch that can change the way people feel about you or change people's lives long term, okay? Awesome, powerful combination, super metabolic, especially when you add some speed to it. And you can also add a heavy bag if you want to increase the intensity. Here's the main focus, right? We break it down first. You first learn how to jab. When you jab, the weight shifts from the front to the rear foot. When you throw across, the weight shifts from the back to the lead foot. And the goal here is pivoting feet, rotating hips. So one, two, start slow. I always say, you know, dial that switch down to about 25% speed. One, two. You can use a mirror if it helps. 50% speed is like this. 75, full speed, all right? And there's speed, which is getting it in and out quick. And there's power. See the difference? My breathing was versus, all right? So the breathing drives this. 
You exhale on each punch, you inhale through the nose into the belly to recover between punches, all right? Simple drill, so many benefits. It'll take years to master, but it's also one of those combinations you can quickly pick up. And again, you get miles out of this combo from a conditioning and an overall fitness standpoint. Do it today. You gotta love that one arm hip hinge. Easier on the spine, also strengthens and balances. You add the slant boards, elevating the toes. We get more stretch into the ankle, calf, and hamstring. But let's work the back a little bit more by doing a row ladder. Here's how it works. I'm gonna inhale down, push those hips back. Knees are soft, they're not straight, they're soft, right? And I'm not here, I go as low as I can while maintaining a slight natural arc in the back. And that's why this hand is here. Not just to stretch the front shoulder and tricep, but to feel exactly when that low back gets out of position. So inhale down, exhale up, don't do this, all right? Arms should form a 90 degree angle right there, hold it for a count, inhale down, exhale up. That was one rep, now we add another. Then we add another. So we add one, then two, then three, then four. You're gonna climb that ladder as high as you can for the single best back workout you'll ever do with a single dumbbell. And uh, you can thank me on the other side. The thruster is a total kick in the dick. You can't get around it, but you can do a couple things to get the most out of it and get less stress on the body. Number one, use a box. I call it the box thruster. Take pressure off the back and the knees. Inhale down to the nose into the belly. Go from a dead stop. Easy to recover from two. <sighs> Exhale up to the mouth. Now I've also done something else. I'm doing it one arm at a time. Again, less stress in the joints, more core activation, all right? And I'm also elevating my heels in a slant board to get more quad, low quad stress, and uh, more range of motion through the hip and the knee. I can do a set, feet flat on the floor, and then a set, heels elevated. You can mix and match, have some fun, but make sure you set that height to about top five parallel to the floor. Notice how I get lower because I'm using the slant boards. <sighs> Amazing exercise, super metabolic. You can combine lower body and upper body. One side, you get the core, full body, enjoy. So this is an amazing exercise. What am I doing? I'm doing a lunge hold, isometric work, but then I add <sighs> dynamic work with my arm. So full body exercise, easy on the knees, smokes the arms and shoulders. Now how do I make this more challenging? <sighs> All right, how do I make this better in different ways? I can elevate the heel for more low quad stress and more range of motion through the hip and the knee. And then I can also elevate the toe to get more stretch into the ankle. All the options work. You can mix between them from round to round or workout to workout. Enjoy this movement. A complex is where you take two or more skills and combine them together for metabolic elevation, all right? Here we're taking the skater jump and the shuffle, making them one metabolic massacre, smoking the hips and getting the cardio up in a big way. So we can start with the skater step, right? Where back toe is touching, bends ankles, knees and hips, get low. <sighs> Exhale across, inhale to the nose to the belly to recover. <sighs> Make it harder by picking up <sighs> the leg, but you'll do a skater jump back and forth. <sighs> Exhale, shuffle. Inhale through the nose to recover. Now the key in the shuffle, right? Don't let them touch or click or cross. You gotta maintain some separation. So, like that. And here's how it looks combined. This one's gonna heat you up in a real way. Get it. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest.
go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. 
halfway. Rest. Go. 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 Halfway. Rest.
go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. 